Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's 15-minute huddle. And I want to kind of bounce off of some of the discussion that I had yesterday about habits and disciplines and developing your skills as they relate to potentially changing markets or just simply, guys, being prepared for sometimes the inevitable, but just being prepared, period, knowing that you have figured out the requirements of be developing and creating the skills that you need so you can move through moving markets. One of the things I want to talk today about is this principle of self-discipline. You know, oftentimes when I do seminars, um, I, I open them up and I present to people and I say, why are some people, and I ask this question, why are some people more successful than others and why do some people make more money live happier lives accomplish more in the same number of years than the great majority of everybody else and the re what is the real secret of success is is part of my opening and i often begin my events that i typically do and i ask the audience how many of you would like to double or triple your income and almost obviously everybody raises their hands and and then I ask how many people would like to lose weight how many people would love to get out of debt achieve financial independence have better relationships I might ask all of those questions or I'll ask some of them for sure I'm asking some of the questions and every everybody often just says yeah I want to I want those things in my life and I say that's wonderful and it's great that everyone has those particular desires we all want to make money we all want to spend more time with our families we all want to be fit and trim we all want to have great relationships we all would love to have financial independence and I'm sure that those of you listening to this recording would like the same thing of course not only not only do we all want the same things, but we all know what we have to do to achieve them. And we'll often tend, you know, oftentimes we have the tendency to do some of those things sometime. And so as I go into my call today, my recording, we have to decide that we need to take a little vacation to have a wonderful fantasy to a place called, as I learned years ago, Someday Isle. Someday Isle is a place where we will, someday I will be more disciplined. Someday I will be healthier. Someday I'll achieve financial freedom. Someday I'll get to work and do the, the required disciplines day in and day out that help me and that will help me for sure achieve the success that I want. Someday I'll have a great family relationship. Someday I'll have a great relationship with somebody. And we go through this path in life and it's the someday I'll do it. You know, his, his, history will always tell us that fully 80, sometimes as high as 90% of the population lives on this island. Okay, they want to, uh, and, 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 and they live there most of their lives, and they go to their graves, and they wish they would have done some things and done things differently in order to achieve the results uh, that they would want to have had in their lives. And they think, and they dream, and they fantasize, you know, about all of these things that they do, and someday they're going to end up doing them, and at the end of the day, who are they surrounded by when they have these mindsets of the someday aisle mindset and thoughts? And very typically, it's by other people who have those same thoughts. Someday we'll all go to island. <laughs> someday, someday I'll, and then everybody talks about it amongst each other. And really what it simply boils down to in this someday aisle is a lineage of excuses 
why I can't, why I won't be motivated. I talked about it the other day on one of my calls. I won't have that emotional charge to really build and create the success that I want in my life, knowing that I maybe one day, someday, I'll have all of those things, but what am I willing to do today? What am I going to put in place to make that happen? And you know, when I hear excuses and, you know, been there, done that myself, I'm never going to say I never had excuses in my life. And then oftentimes, you know, you hear the excuses, why are you here at this event? Why are you wanting to be better in your life? And then they come up with all the excuses, you know, and why aren't things happening uh, the way they should be in their lives. And it's, you know, it's typically, I didn't have a great relationship in my, uh, with my, as a child. Um, I didn't get a great education. Uh, we didn't come from money. Uh, my, 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 my boss really was very critical of me. My marriages were no good. Uh, no one appreciates me or the economy is terrible. All these excuses build up over time and we carry them into our lives over and over and over again and they come with a flavor of failure and not having what we truly want well who we truly want to become what we truly want to do and we always will say that and we'll take it as a grain of salt and say you know what but someday I'll change someday I'll make it happen for myself. So here's the bottom line, guys. For today, I want to keep it in line with that there is a choice that you can make. You can be happy or you can make excuses, but you can't do both. You can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't do both. You can have great relationships in your life or you can make excuses, but you can't do both. You can be healthier and happier physically, mentally, and emotionally, and spiritually, or you can make excuses, but you can't do both. It's quite possible that we strive in our lives for the things that we want, but we don't achieve them because really what we ultimately want, and ideally for everybody, is that to have the fire, but we don't want to go through the, the act of chopping the wood to create the heat and the fire and the wood for that fire. But we'll make excuses as to why things aren't working, why aren't we making things happen in our lives, why aren't we making the money that other people are making that, oh my gosh, I know I can do that, but you know, but someday I'll do that. Someday it'll be my time and it'll be my opportunity. Guys, at the end of the day, losers make excuses and winners make progress. Losers make excuses and winners make progress. Now, how can you tell if you're, what your favorite excuse is valid or not? All you have to do is simply, round, simply look around and ask yourself, does anyone else have the same excuse and who, who, who is successful anyway with these excuses? And oftentimes, when you ask this question, if you're honest, you're going to have to admit that there is thousands or even millions of people who've, who've, who've admit that they're um, people who have had it far worse than you are, have had it, um, people who have gone to, to, to great lengths in their life to, to, to push through suffering and, and, and downtrodden lives, yet, yet they've gone on to do wonderful, radical, life-changing things, whether it's health, whether it's wealth, whether it's relationships, or all of those things. And what people have done are amazing. What people are, have gone through and have achieved in their life, is, it's quite amazing. There are no excuses. There's just progress. There is no excuses. There's just simply progress. And, you know, it's often said that, you know, if we, if we, if we take a look and, and our lives, and if most people would put as much energy into achieving their goals that they would like to have, you know, that, that place on someday aisle, but doing it today, and 
they spend that they spend the time working on those achievements, those the goals, and they put that energy into it versus making up all the excuses for the failure or uh, they would actually surprise themselves and really at the end of the day, they could literally change your lives in a snap of a finger by just simply putting yourself into a place of I'm going to put my energy into achieving those goals that I really want in my life versus investing time in the excuses that I can make for myself. Yeah, guys, you know what? At the end of the day, it can be easier making excuses. And everybody will be okay with it because most everybody else is making excuses. So we huddle around that group of people and they're going to say, it's okay, don't worry about it. You know what? It's the same thing for me and it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be a big deal if we don't do it. Okay. But if that group of people in and of themselves, the ones that feel entitled or they're not doing the things that they should do to achieve the goals that they really want in there, the ones that they really want in life, that someday aisle place, you would be amazed at the outcome that these people would have. Again, guys, let me remind you, there are people that come into this world and they've had deplorable lifestyles growing up. They didn't have the access or they didn't have the ability, but they didn't make those as excuses. They created them as opportunities to become better and to become really great. They, 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 they went into areas and they looked and found out their talents or they went out and sought mentors and coaches that helped them to achieve the greatness that they have in their life. They read the books, they went to the seminars, they implemented, they took the actions necessary rather than sitting back and saying, oh, you know what, I'm not cut out for this, I wasn't brought up this way, I didn't have the money, didn't have the time, didn't have the education, and the list goes on and on of those excuses. So guys, here's the deal. There's opportunity for each and every one of you. And I'm going to continue this with my final thoughts tomorrow. And today what I want you to get is this, all right, that you can create the disciplines and the habits in your life by simply beginning right now today at the end of this call, if you have been or if you ever go through it, eliminating the excuses that why you cannot and quit judging as to why you can't based on what other people are doing. Run your own race. Live your life and do it and focus your energies on achievement. Focus your energies on achievement. And whatever it might be for you, it doesn't have to be opulence, although it would be nice. You know, opulent lifestyle, opulent relationships, okay, an opulent business. What is it that you want to choose that is opulent for you, okay? And so step into a place starting today that I will make no more excuses because I have a choice. I have the opportunity sitting in front of me because at the end of the day, even though you're going to run your own race, which I definitely suggest to you, the person who is ahead of you is your potential, that's what you have in front of you is your potential. And frankly, if they can do it, so can you. I know when I began, I didn't have anything going on for myself. We didn't have a lot of money when we were growing up. Sure, we lived okay. My dad was a priest. He didn't make a ton of money. But we lived you know, reasonably nice. I'm not going to complain about that. We didn't live in deplorable conditions or nothing like that. But honestly, we didn't have a lot of money. We, went, we didn't sit at the dinner table and talk about goals and objectives and business plans and, you know, super success. We were around it. People in our, in our environment were always there, the attorneys, the doctors. But we didn't have that. We didn't really discuss it at our dinner table. But there was that time when I just said, you know what, there, there has to be more. There has to be more than what we have in front of us. And I had to go through challenge after challenge in order to break through. And yes, it was hard work. However, the desire for what was on the other side of the bridge 
was more important than what I had living in front of me, those excuses. Well, we didn't have a lot of money and, you know, maybe we could have, but we didn't. I didn't have that education. I didn't. I went to a, I went all the way through a year and a half of a day of, of the Miami Dade Community College. And half the time that I was there, I was with, with the girls. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm being quite frank with you. I didn't have that. I, I, I barely got out of high school, but at the end of the day, I took a choice. I made the decision that this is not going to be for me. This is not going to be the the excuse that I want to come up with. And I can always I can come up with a million excuses, but I chose not to. And yes, it was difficult. I'm not going to say breaking through all that. It wasn't just a snap decision. I made this snap decision, but it was something that I finally broke through in time. And if you desire, guys, if you desire to make things happen in your life, to have the things that you want, to do the things that you want to do, to, to go where you want to go, it is all available to you. So I'll continue this tomorrow, and we're going to talk about some of the areas that are going to help you break through that, okay? And, and obviously in these 10 or 15 or 20 minute huddles, you can't do every single thing. But what I want to do is get you in the mindset that it is possible that without excuses, all you need to simply do is make a decision that you want to have more, be more, do more. And get rid of those darn excuses, the ones that stand in your way every single day, maybe every single moment of your day. Oh my gosh, I just can't make it happen. Guys, you can make it happen. I promise you, at the end of the day, if others are doing it, you can do it as well. You just got to get rid of the excuses and get into a place that I'm going to think about my life, my business, my world as a place where I'm going to make progress every single day and I'm going to work darn hard to make sure that I can achieve all that I want in my life. It will be possible, guys. I know it. It's available to you. So that's all I got to say for today in the moment. I wish you the very best today in all that you do. Go back and listen to this recording again at realprofitbuilders.com. The lines are still open. Email me, Mike at Mike Hudson. Hey, Mike, give me access to that e-learning academy. It's a great thing. I have clients telling me all the time. I have people that I've given this away to for taking it a test drive. It's very easy to do, and they're getting results from it. Okay, It's not me talking. It's them talking. I know it will work. There's hundreds upon hundreds of hours of content, documentation, anything that you really want to help you in your business. And if you need help setting it up, once you call me up and make it happen, I'll make sure I do that with you on a private consultation. No obligation whatsoever. I'm here to serve. I'm here to help. Anything I can do for you, reach out to me. Anyway, that's it. Go make it a great rest of the day, and we will talk to you tomorrow.